Hello, yes, addressing the needs and concerns of our people. And what are those needs and concerns? I'll tell you what they're not. I'll tell you what they're not. Right, like some uh, so-called nationalists the world over, some are spies, some are idiots, pushing this nonsense that we must uh, climb the moral high ground and fight degeneracy. The public doesn't give a toss. It didn't listen to Mary Whitehouse in the 60s and 70s. It's not going to listen to you lot on social media, is it? You know who you are. You know exactly who you are. And you know why you're doing it. Because our enemies know it's a dead end road. Going nowhere. The public never listened to Mary Whitehouse, a lovely brave woman, in the 60s and 70s. They're not listening to you. And our enemies know this only too well. That's why they've got you pushing it. Let's fight model degeneracy. <laughs> what a load of nonsense. Our people at the moment, they're only concerned about their immediate needs. Right? That's all. That's like employment, decent housing, decent services, a decent bus service, train service, roads that they can travel along without being in uh, traffic jams for God knows how long. I was on one before, the M6 again. Oh my God, Christ! That motorway seems to be permanently under some sort of repair or change or whatever. So our people are only concerned about the real needs that they face on a daily basis. They're not interested in the fall of Western man. And our enemies know that one as well. They know the fall of Western man. Why would they? I like I've said, our, our people are not interested in climbing the moral high ground. The moral high ground is what they set as individuals for themselves. Us to dictate to them would just be putting another barrier in front of us. And our enemies are right on to that as well. They know. They know all this. They're not stupid. That's why they've got their spies pushing nonsense. Let's fight the... Um, the degeneracy, climb the moral high ground, all you're doing is looking weirdos. You see, the problem about the moral high ground is that because it's bad doesn't mean to say it's not enjoyable, you know. But anyway, anyway, all people's needs are what affects them on a daily basis. Getting to work or even having a job, having a decent roof over their heads, right? Decent school for their children. Crime-free area. The list is literally endless. It's not halal meat. They don't care about halal meat. And now the meat is uh, ritually, you know, the cow or whatever sheep is ritually killed first by having its throat cut. I know it's terrible. The public's not interested. If it was, there wouldn't be a kebab shop in every shopping precinct all around the country, every town and city centre. They wouldn't be a kebab pizza place, would they? Well, of course not. That's how stupid that one is. But our enemies again, no. They know all this nonsense isn't going to work for us. That's why they've got us pushing it. Or oh, they're spies pushing it. And before anyone goes on about, he's going on about spies, do you really believe MI5, the security service, is just here in Britain, and it's two criminal proxies, hope not hate, Nick Lowe's, Jerry Gable says, like magazine, having got spies in our movement to disrupt it and lead it down a dead end road. Do you, people still don't believe that, Christ, there's no hope for us. But I know and believe the astute ones do. Nick Griffin knows. There's a few others, Richard Edmund should know, but there again, I don't know. I just don't know. How do you think we're in the mess we're in now? Without diversifying. How do you believe British nationalism being reduced to what it is now? A comedy sketch. Our enemies have done it. But anyway, the needs and concerns of our people are what they face of a day. The daily grind just to survive. Right? To put food on the table. Right? To pay the bills. They're not interested in moral degeneracy and climb the moral high ground. Why would they? Well, exactly. People's moral views are how they see things on an individual basis. And so you can't counter that. It is just so stupid. It's unbelievable, like I've said. 
If they never listened to Mary Whitehouse in the 60s, 70s and onwards, they're not going to listen to you, to us all. If it was us genuinely pushing it, that is. But it's not, it's the spies. You know you are. The fall of Western man and moral degeneracy and our shite. But you know it doesn't, or, or should I say, your controllers and you're their agent. You're their gopher, you're their lackey, you're their rat's arse. They know that it's just a barrier then between us and our people like with the Holocaust and many other issues, the barriers between us and our people that we can never climb over, right? Never, ever, ever. So we must address the needs and concerns of our people. Now, we can bring race into it in the sense of immigration. Everyone, you're talking about immigrants. People know exactly who you're on about. You know it's non-whites, of course they do. Right? And even the ethnic minorities here that have been born and bred and paid into the system, they know who it means and they agree with you. They don't want any more here either. Right? We've got to go and help them. We've got to go and clear their areas up with the crime and the gang banging and the drugs and everything else. Of course we have. Right? We can't just neglect these people that live here as well. That's another barrier. So we must address the needs and concerns of our people. Forget these issues some idiots and spies are pushing like george soros Kalegi, planet griffin god help us you know and other nonsense the public doesn't care about i've just met a friend before a good guy i may even have a hq in kensington for the uh may uh, 2018 council elections i may have an hq in kensington which will be just literally amazing that would help me uh, untold that, with big posters up in the window and everything, right? But anyway, we shall see, as Nick Griffin used to say, we shall say that. So we must address the needs and concerns of our people. Tragedies, issues, worries, things they face on a daily basis just to stay alive. That's what they're interested in. And that's what I'm going to be pushing in Kensington when I stand there, uh, May in 2018, right? Got to address their local concerns wrapped up in mass immigration that mass immigration is the reason you're suffering all these problems okay thank you